honestly, in my opinion, it is really about collaboration. And, and SharePoint from Microsoft is one of those amazing, very versatile, very extensible, and very multi-purpose enterprise systems out there. But in my opinion, what really happens is, given that it's such a versatile and, and complex system, if I may, then the focus sometimes shifts from collaboration to managing SharePoint. SharePoint is that means to an end. The story almost always starts with basic document management. I want to make sure that I can create those spaces for people to collaborate on and basic document sharing, etc. But the real value is when you look at deeper end objectives. It's about document life cycle and workflows. It is about really uh, integrated workflows of your collaboration with the rest of the enterprise. It is really about how you can create impressive intranets. And if you, if you really, really look at it well, you have the ability to create intelligent apps very fast using SharePoint as that core platform. And then there is this interesting cloud story. With Office 365, SharePoint on the cloud, it, it provides a total new dimension to how quickly you can set up collaboration and how you can be up to date and take the advantage of everything new that SharePoint has to offer. So uh, we have set up a very close and very deep partnership with Microsoft. And in my opinion, uh, the SharePoint practice is perhaps one of the deepest and most complete practice by a service provider in the industry. And what we do is really focus on making sure that we can be the partners to our clients and help leverage the SharePoint story towards the true end objective, which is to create great collaboration experiences for their employees. And it all breaks down into three parts. The first part of the journey is about accelerating SharePoint deployment. It's about the SharePoint setup, it is about SharePoint migration, it is about managing SharePoint experiences and, and, and making sure that your infrastructure is right sized and everything works well. It it's begins with consulting assignments, it, it begins with taking a view of where you are with respect to your SharePoint landscape and what you should do, etc. The second part is really about optimizing what you can do with SharePoint. Like many other enterprise system, once people get a taste of what SharePoint can do for you, then, then you tend to become reckless. There are sites being created, multiple instances, forms of SharePoint being created, and suddenly you will notice, wow, this has become unmanageable. So you need to make sure that you can really look at it right, figure out where consolidation can be done. You need to have a 360 degree view of all your farms, all the applications and solutions that are being built on top of SharePoint and then figure out. And this is also an opportunity where the SharePoint 2012, where, where the Office 365 story, you have an ability to now figure out, can I just take this entire environment onto the cloud? So this is where we help clients in migrating their existing SharePoint instances to cloud and building new apps and experiences. The third part is, which is my favorite part, where we sort of believe we, we really want to be engaging with you for such things. And that's really about how to make it really auto automatic, how to really make sure that the collaboration just presents itself to you and you don't really have to spend a lot of time creating those collaboration environments. The whole idea is to make the work easy and if the process of making the work easy is a work in itself, I don't think it's a very intelligent model. So what we are doing, for example, with some of the clients is we are saying that let's connect it to the source. Imagine you are a sales guy and you have won a new account and you create a new account in salesforce.com, which is your CRM system. Automatically, that triggers in an event, connects to SharePoint, automatically creates a new SharePoint site, gets in the latest data from salesforce.com, you put in some documents on SharePoint, it's available to you on SFDC, you do something in SFDC, up-to-date status is av available. So really getting to a point where the infrastructure is ready and waiting for triggers where collaboration environments can be created for you when you need it. So that's the SharePoint story for, uh, for, for our clients. We can help you with setting SharePoint right. We can help you with migrating SharePoint. We can help you getting a good view of is it optimized? Is it doing right? How can you right size it? And 
we can really take you to the next level of collaboration where we connect your SharePoint with the rest of the enterprise systems and make sure it works and presents itself when it should.